Good morning, children. How are you all today? Mm, do you know what day is today? Yes, it's Sunday. Welcome to our UW lesson. Did you all enjoy your weekend, children? Let's see what do we have today. Do you remember what we learned last week, children? Let's review. Yes, we have learned about the season summer and winter. Do you remember what it is like in summer? Yes, it's really very hot and we love to play with water and wear cotton clothes. And in winter, it's snowy, really, really cold. Let's see what's our objective for today. Our objective for today is learners will be able to learn about the spring season and its characteristics. Our learning outcome is by the end of the lesson, learners will be able to understand what is spring season. They will learn about the things we can enjoy in spring and what changes happen in the spring. Let's learn about the spring season today, children. I wonder, children, what we do in spring season? Do you know, children? During spring season, it's neither hot nor cold. The days are very pleasant. Trees and plants are full of fresh leaves and colorful flowers in spring. People enjoy going for picnics in spring. Spring comes after winter. The spring months are March, April and May. Let's learn more about spring season like what food we eat in spring, what sports we play, where do we go and what clothes we wear. Let's talk about the food we eat in spring season. We eat apricots, strawberries, avocados, carrots, spinach and new potatoes. Here is a list of different kinds of sports. Golf, volleyball, Tennis, men's baseball, women's softball, and outdoor track and field games. What are the different places we can visit and go for outings? Yes, we can visit the zoo and visit the park with our family, visiting the malls and going for movies with family and friends. Let's talk about the clothes we wear in spring season. Do you remember children what kind of clothes we wear in summer? Yes, we wear loose cotton clothes which are very comfortable to wear in summer and in winter we wear jackets, woolen hats and scarves and stuff because we have to keep ourselves warm because it is too cold. Hmm, let's see what do we wear in spring season. Yes children, light jackets are flexible, lightweight and comfortable to wear in spring season. During spring weather is getting warmer so we don't need to wear heavy clothing like in winter. T 
T-shirt and short pants is a good combination to wear during season, spring season. And because it is raining, people use raincoats, umbrellas during spring season. When we think about spring season, there are a lot of activities which we all want to do. Like we fly the kite, go for fishing, do gardening, craft activities, and also camping. Now I wonder what happens to plants in spring. Do you remember what happened to the plants in summer and winter? Yes, in summer the plants are more green because they get enough sunlight and in winter the plants shed their leaves in order to survive in those cold weather. Let's talk about the spring. Yes children, plants need water, light and soil to grow as you all know that already. During spring they get the conditions they need to grow. We can see flowers blooming in this season. Let's have a look at the animals. What do you think animals do in spring season, children? Mm, let's explore about that. Animals become active in spring, like arising from winter sleep, migrating, breeding, because with the warmth, plants grow and food becomes more available. Here are the animals which we can see during spring season. Fox, deer, black bear, seal and squirrel. When it is spring, many animals and birds have their babies. When the days are longer, they have more time to find food for their young ones. Birds have a lot of reason to love spring season like you do. So let's have a look at these birds that wait for spring season and add beauty to the season. Which bird is that children? Yes, that's a robin bird. They are often sported in this season, which is also known as welcome sign of spring. Geese. It's a sign of spring when you spot geese flying high in the sky. They fly in a V-shape when they migrate to other places. Activity time. Let's see what do we have in our activity. Draw what you like to do in spring and write few sentences about your favorite spring activity. Don't forget to share your activity picture with your teacher. Okay, children? Thumbs up! That's all for today. Thank you very much and stay safe. Bye-bye. See you next time.